All right, everybody. So I am back. I have a new camera, and it's a forward-facing camera. And just trying to play around with the settings and the camera setup or setups. And this is going to be the forward view. And I'm still bringing in a backward view so you can see my gauges, my yoke, my throttle quadrant, the 435, 30s, uh, radios, and whatnot. But just testing, testing this out, just to sound, kind of see how it goes. I'm going to go through a quick flow of flying a Beechcraft Bonanza here in X-Plane from Paulton County over to Fulton County. I'm going to integrate the uh, full flight to it, so, so that way you can see some of how uh, full flight works with it. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be a real quick video. I'm not going to go through every nuance of uh, pre-flight. I'm going to try to go through it, but just not everything that I would normally do. Um, so here we go. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So we are at Peace Street DeKalb Airport, Papa Delta Kilo. And again, we're going to be doing a quick flight over to Foxtrot Tango Yankee, which is Fulton County Airport. I'm not going to go through all the nuances of this, but just uh, testing out the screen record along with the new camera I have and going through a quick checklist uh, with this uh, Beechcraft Bonanza using ForeFlight and some of the little nuances you can use with uh, with that setup. All right, so let's get it going. All right, so first thing I do, I like to fly with the yoke hidden. And as some of you all know, I have a full setup deck here in my house, but I'm going to be using the, the Sims uh, gauges uh, for this recording. So first thing we're going to do is I like to go left to right on the, air, the airplanes that I fly. That's a good flow to keep everything consistent. So we're going to turn the master and battery or the alt and battery on. Beacon is on. The reason why we have that on is because when you turn on the plane, the beacon starts flashing. Let's everybody know that you're about to start up. And then we continue on to the to the right and set that trim to three. Open the cow flaps because this is a high performance engine. Helps cool the engine down. Going flaps up. Gear levers down. Got the prop full forward. Actually have the power full forward and then the mixture full rich. Okay. Alternate air is in. And we can get ready to start. Make sure the avionics are off, which they are. I'm going to prime the engine. So we're going to turn the fuel pump on. I'm going to watch this little gauge here. The fuel flow gauge go with the 14. So fuel pump on. It's going to max out. Once it maxes out, I'm going to turn the fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. All right, crack the throttle. And we're going to start this engine. All right, 1,000 RPM. Uh, we're checking our oil pressure first. We're, oil pressure is good. Cylinder head temp, oil temp is good. All right. Going to lean the mixture out real quick. And I'm going to release the brakes on my end. And I'm going to turn the avionics on. Avionics is right here, but I do have a switch panel I'm going to use. Turn it on. Fulton County Brownfield information. And I'm going to turn the panel on. The cat peach tree is. ATIS is 128.4, as you see here to the left. Hit that brake again. All right. I set it idle at 1,000 and lean the mixture a little bit, but 128.4. And then Fulton County is 120.17. So those are our ATIS in both airports. 
and then tower at PDK is 120.9 and ground is 121.6 Right, so let's just simulate we have ground and first thing we're going to do is going to go over to the four flight or my tablet type in KPDK space KFTY and as we see here on the sim we are at runway to and right, holding short on taxi week off. And we'll take a quick look at the weather. We have variable at five, ten statue miles clear, five on the temp, minus two on, on the dew point. Let's see how good that matches up with the sim. I'm pulling down the the, the sims or I'm pulling down real weather in the sim. Fulton County. We have weather here. 1106, 10 statue miles clear. 7 on the temp, minus 2 on the dew point. Our temp is 3013. What I'm going to do is set up procedure and we're going to enter a traffic pattern. Winds are favoring runway 8, so we're going to click runway 8. And we're going to do a Best side or a left down wind for runway eight. So we'll come in here, let's try to hoot you there, and we'll do base or downwind, base, and final. And we can add that to a route. As you see here, as I pan out, that's how it's going to be. Going to Fulton County, we're actually going to probably be probably be flying about a heading of 250 so once I do direct or I can actually do that in here now so flight plan and K Fox Trot Tango Yankee you all can't see this but I'm putting it into the 430 Fox Trot Tango Yankee once I hit enter you should see a desired track come up and that desired track will be right here Foxtrot Tango Yankee. Come on. All right, two four seven is our heading. So when we take off, we're going to be going two four seven. So go back to my nav page on my four thirty, and we're going to get the ATIS here at the cab. Cal Beach Tree Information Tango. 1500 Zulu weather. Wind 100 at 7 variable 080 to 130. Visibility more than 10. Sky clear. Temperature 6. Dew point minus 1. Altimeter 3015. Arriving runway 03 right. Departing runway 03 right. Advise on initial contact you have Tango. All right, we have Tango. Just gonna put it up one more time. Uh, they said the weather and the sim is 1007. Variable, 10 statue miles, visibility clear, six minus one, 3015 on the altimeter. So pretty close. Uh, they are departing runway three in the sim. I'm going to be departing <laughs> runway two one. Again, it's the sim. Um, just testing all this out. All right, cool. So let's get it going. Show you all a quick run up. Gonna go. Mixture is rich. Prop is full fort. Again, mixture is rich. Prop full fort. And holding brakes. Running it up to 1700. Doing a quick mag check. Right mag one two. At a drop, one, two, back, left mag, one, slight drop, 
one back. All right, we're going to do a prop governor check. So first pull is going to be RPM down, manifold up. So RPM down, manifolds up. That's good. Next is going to be RPM down, oil pressure down. RPM down, oil pressure down. And then last one in real life, what I would do is RPM down and then the make sure there's no oil coming out. All right. So everything looks good. Do an instrument check, instrument air check. That is here. That looks good. Still in the head temp looks good. Oil temp, oil pressure. And then we have a slight charge on the ammeter. And then we're going to come back to 1,000 RPM. And we're going to get ready to go. So from here, we will depart and go to a heading of 247. And we can go ahead and bug that. Also with the winds, and the winds were 100 at 7, so we can set that first. I like to know where my winds are coming from. And at this point, if we were talking to tower, we would switch over. You saw that switch over here. And we would say the cat peach tree, but down to 3147 whiskey, uh, ready at 2 1 right, or whatever one, one ray you're at. And they would give us our clearance to take off. Clear to take off runway 21 right. Three Approaching four, runway 21 right. Entered oh. runway 21 right. 3,700 feet remaining. Do our last minute checks. Left to right. Trim set. Cow flaps open. Flaps are up. Gear is down. Prop pull forward. Mixture is rich. All right. Let's get it going. RPM looking good, manifold pressure is good, fuel flow is looking good. Approaching All runway right. 1634. Still good, oil temp, oil pressure, airspeed's coming alive, going to be getting ready to rotate. And we are rotating. Going to do a pitch up of 10. We have no runway left, so we're going gear up. Gear transition light, then the red is in. That was a big gust. Gear is up. And we're going to climb out again, having a 10 degree nose up pitch. That'll give us a pretty much a VY climb, no matter what our weight is in this plane. Roughly about 1,000 feet, we're going to pull back to 25, 25 on the pressure, manifold pressure, and 25 on the RPM. And then we'll make our right turn. And you'll see my heading bug going over to a course of 247. While I'm doing that, I'm going to pitch down. And then I'll power back once I get to where I want. I'm going to do 20 or about 19 because once I pull back the RPM is going to raise it up a little bit. To intercept my track, I'm going to fly or put the heading bug right above that CDI that's deflected to the right. That means I'm left of course. I could do direct enter enter on the 430, but I'm going to intercept that course. And pull back my RPM to 23. As you saw, that manifold pressure went up. And then I'm going to trim. So pitch power trim in this case. See the CDI is coming in, and while that's coming in, I am going to get Fulton County's ATIS. So you saw COM2 switch over, and while that's coming in, I'm going to, or while the CDI is coming in, I'm going to start making that left turn. And COM2 activate. Fulton County Brownfield Information Tango. 1500 Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Sky clear. Temperature 6. Dew point minus 1. Altimeter 3015. 
Arriving runway 32, departing runway 32. Advise on initial contact, you have Tango. All right, we have Tango. And let me get back on track. The CDI needles going away from me. Uh, we are six miles away. I'm a lower manifold pressure about an inch every minute, or in this case, since we are pretty close, an inch every about 30 seconds. That uh, allowed the airspeed to come down. And allow me to be in gear extend range. Do a quick cruise check, get the head temp, oil temp, oil pressure, close those cloud flaps. Cloud flaps are closed. You see right in front of us is the airport, I'm circling here with the mouse. That's Chattahoochee River. That's gonna give, give us where we need to be to enter that uh, left downwind for runway 8. As I pull that manifold pressure back, what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of up trim so that way I'm trading uh, my airspeed off or, or trailing off my airspeed to get into that gear extend range. And a good approach speed and configuration is about 17 manifold pressure. That should give me about 150 miles an hour. And as you see on the fourth flight, we're coming up on that left downwind. And I'm gonna let the nose start coming down because I need to get down to 1800, which is the pattern altitude. Once I get in the pattern, I'm going to be flying 110, or sorry, 100 on downwind. And I, I'll tell you why in a minute I corrected myself on 110. But 100 on downwind, 90 on base, and 80 on final. A lot of people run 110, 190, and it's, it's fine to run that, but I've learned through the the course I've been flying is that um, the Bonanza flies real good at 190 and 80. You see the airport there, it's off to our left. I like to put my right or my wingtip right on the runway. That gives me a good width on the runway. We're at 1800. I am in gear extend range, so I'm going gears down. And I'm gonna trim up a little bit. Once I am a beam touchdown zone, which is a thousand footers, which is where I'm at about now. Add a little bit of power because that those landing gear adds some drag. I am in flap range, adding in first notch of flaps. That'll give me my 110, sorry, the 100 that I want. going to be descending down to roughly about 1600. See I got 100 on miles per hour on the indicated airspeed. I'll make my left turn here. And the winds at Fulton were light. So in that case I will just set my heading bug to the runway. Got the runway there, gonna keep making that right turn. And gonna keep going down to 1600. Good. Start making my left turn. Probably going to be a little wide. Okay, though.
Alright, land the gear, got three. One three mile three final green. runway zero eight. Fourteen hundred, thirteen hundred is a good speed here. Last night your flaps. I let that airspeed build up a little bit. But get it back down to eighty. And I'm gonna run fifteen manifold pressure all the way down. As you see here, we got eighty on four flight you should see me coming down on final. And do one last check on the gear. Three green. Eighty on final. I have a stabilized descent, stabilized approach. So we're gonna continue down. As I get closer to the runway, start squeezing that or pulling that power out a little bit. And start adding a little bit of nose up trim. And that'll help with the pullback on the yoke. Well, in real life it would. Start easing it back. And we're going power to idle. There we go. Easy on the brakes. There we are. We are at Fulton County. We take this off for a four flight. It's the taxi diagram. There we are. Hey right, guys, so that was the flight. The only thing I didn't do at the end, uh, if you notice, I didn't go through my gumps check, but uh, that's your normal, your gas lights on the carriage, mixture, prop, and then your seat, seat belts and switches and whatnot. But again, as I mentioned, I wasn't trying to record everything and every nuance uh, for the flight. But hopefully you all enjoyed the, the, the flight and my uh, forward facing setup. I will definitely have some more videos coming of my panel and my 430, 530, uh, the TPM. So that way you can see how I interact with the 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 hardware, the SIM hardware, and uh, explain. Till next time.